I would say that they should challenge themselves and lean into the unknown and uncomfortable situations. Um, you don't really learn from sticking inside your comfort zone um, and you can never really progress. I feel like if you don't push yourself in some aspect of your research or even in life. Um, and I think ISB not only helps helped me do that, but it helps everybody do that. Um, they kind of throw you into fields of study where it's nearly impossible for any one person to be like an absolute expert on every aspect of the research field, just because it is so interdisciplinary and there are so many aspects to all the research. Um, and so, you know, when you come into this type of research, you're being challenged to kind of think outside the box and outside the skills that you already have to continue to ask questions that further your understanding on whatever uh, question you're interested in. Um, and sometimes it feels a little bit scary uh, and it makes you kind of wonder whether or not you're actually good at what you do, just because, you know, it is hard not rec you know, recognizing that um, you don't know everything and it's kind of impossible for you to know everything. But, you know, coming out on the other side of the work, you know, that struggle and that scariness is ultimately what I found to be necessary for like my own personal growth. Um, and I think this is probably going to be true for most people. So for a lot of people that are afraid to take the leap and are, you know, thinking about working at ISB in any capacity, I would say that, you know, be prepared to come in and be given a challenge. Um, and if you're looking for that challenge, that's great. This is the place, this is the place to be. This is the place to be pushed. You just have to rise to the occasion and kind of motivate yourself to work outside what you know and really just work hard to try and, I guess, learn and become a better scientist through the whole process.